So we are going to take on the Wizen Hag. Got the Hellion, Man at Arms, the Occultist, and the Herbalist. I'm unsure if this is the best choice, seeing as how last week we just beat the l another boss, but I'm like, why not? Why not take on the world? That's my own output, but who knows if it's a good choice. I had collected many rare and elusive volumes on ancient herbal properties, and was set to enjoy several weeks immersed in comfortable study. My work was interrupted, however, by a singularly striking young woman who insisted on repeated calls to the house. Stalker much? There is method in the wild corruption here. It bears a form both wretched and malevolent. Let's see. Looks like one, two, three, four. No, one, two, three, two, three, four, five. Looks like that. Lower right hand corner is the way to go. So I'm trying out the man at arms this time around. He has some really interesting things. Often low on supplies. He has a buffer that increases speed and dodge. So everyone gets a turn before the opponents and they have a more likely chance to dodge. The man at arms also has a counterattack move. He has a move to essentially guard allies, so if someone else attacks the ally, he takes the damage. He has a really he's a pretty good defense. I just thought I would try something with different characters. Back to the pit. So he's got dodge, guard ally, and just you know the basic attacks that help to so this is going to lower their dodge and their speed what in the world large ectoplasm i've never seen this before this is not really a good sign i've never seen this type of creature before and it does not look friendly but it's going down anyways That sound, man. Love it. Hmm, should I do a stun? Nah, I'm just gonna... Executed with I'm just gonna try to see if I can... If I can destroy the corpse before they cast their moves again. So far, this large one hasn't cast that move, so it may not be that he can. Either that, or it's very unlikely that he does. It's like Prodigious that solves that. Does not dissuade the sharpened blade. I looked on, and the herbalist's main attack. If an opponent is marked, then he does a substantial amount of more damage. I always appreciate that. How many spiders can I kill? I think it's just best to do as much damage as I can to these guys. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Bad choice. Bad choice. Destroy them all. More bad choices for you. That solves that. This cracks me up. No matter how many times he's attacked in one turn, he's gonna... He's gonna release the dogs. Oh, we got at least 
just one more, and the two more battles because we got a battle in the hallway. All that work was for naught. Especially when he's able to do the same to them because that really helps with ensuring that whoever is attacking is going to get it that that hit him there's nothing I hate more than than a miss be wary triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall don't worry I am well I was about to say I'm very far from being prideful or feeling triumphant, but after last week's match, I'm I'm pretty ecstatic, to say the least. surges as the enemy crumbles. well just heal her up so those bleeds don't really have too much of a harmful effect come on let's take this zone Nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. This looks like I'm probably gonna go just straight down. Uh, it's got a lock on it. I'm gonna try to avoid being playing the risky the risk game. What we're going down for is we're going for a straight shot. Just avoid as many conflicts as possible. Then we are gonna light up the campfire. Wealth beyond measure, awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. All right. A moment of respite, a chance to steal. I'm always gonna go for the feast. The coming horrors. Hmm. I always appreciate her having any sort of help. Ooh, 10 damage? 5% to crit? Pretty sure that is quite the, uh... Ooh. Plus speed? Love it.
looks like we're just redu going ahead and reducing some stress may be the best. Alright. Hopefully no night attack. Light, nope. The promise of safety. Let's do this. Yay! Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. I think everyone's at full health. There's nothing I can really do, so let's just let's have ourselves a good time. Hopefully I'll win. So here is here is the old hag. So she's a cauldron, and her attack is into the pot, or her main attack. So the Hellion is now in there, she's going to be taking constant damage every single turn. And I got two choices, I can either focus on the hag, or I can save my friend. Which that pot uh, is, is quite the damage. And what's going to happen is she's going to continue to suffer damage in until she's at death's door. She's going to be poured out. So the very first time I played this game, I tried to go straight for the pot every time, and that did not work because as soon as someone comes out of the pot, she throws someone back in. So my goal was to have a pretty tanky team for the most part, and everyone that could, everyone had the opportunity to be able to hit her. So that's that was my goal with this sort of team: just just ignore whoever's in the, is in there, and pray to goodness that we kill her since she only has like 66 health before she. So I'm, I'm going to speed everyone up, so that not only is, makes it more likely that we're going to dodge her attacks, but we're going we're to attack before she does. At least the coming rounds. So she's already down to 12 health. Our friend is still in there. I don't want you to be eaten either! So I'm just constantly just she's already done to seven health. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. So she's already So there's a risk. Oh. He's been thrown in the pot, so gotta kill her. So all the Smee Tenderizer could Ooh, we're very lucky. I was very lucky for the Hellion. Please, please, please hit her. Yeah! Leave her corpse. Luckily, we don't have to kill the cauldron. Right! Got a, something for the leper and a camouflage cloak. It's pretty nice. And driven into the mud. All right. So another boss taken down. And this was. L a very lucrative mission. Very good. Very awesome. I'll only flagellate. Okay. So the occultist is up to veteran level three. My goal is also with Trouble my white friends to be done talking. This crusade. Its noble end affords you broad tolerance in your choice of me. Yeah, his fits are cured. So, it looks like we are very much so. We are knocking it down. We got a lot more enemies to take on, but we are doing good. We're making good time. No, can't do anything here. No. Like 32 deeds. Ooh, I'll take it. Well, let's let's check everything else. I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, probably not gonna. Not gonna spend money. So let's see if there's anyone I need to do. I don't think so. So y'all have a good week, and I'll figure out what where to go to next. Have a good one. Bye.